66. UConn, 88. Arkansas, 65. Right now, somewhere, somewhere around Houston, in the vicinity of Houston, a gentleman by the name of Clint Sterner <laughs> is cuddling up with his pillow. You don't have to listen to this. And story. crying hog tears. Where while is I'm eating, Mama Hog? That's well, I am I eating a Mama pork hog, suey sandwich. You? That's all I got to say. Uh, Goodman. Yes. Have they been the most impressive team in the tournament so far? You've gone. Yes. I would agree. Yes. I, I think it's hard to uh, argue with that right now. Mm. You know, again, and, and here's the crazy part. Rick Pitino, Randy Bennett, Eric Musselman. Those are three of, of what we consider right now the top ten coaches in the game right now. And Danny mm -hmm. just and he gave beat them the, the shit out of them. Yeah, he beat the shit out of all three. Yeah. And I talked to him after the game, caught up with him for a little while. and He's loose, man. Man, he's great, isn't he? Yeah, he's Golly. loose. I mean, why wouldn't he be? Right? I mean, you know, he kind of. you got a team that's clicking. They, they went yeah. through their dip at the end of yes. January, which yes. is the perfect time to do that yeah. because then you start playing your way better. Yeah. Towards tournament time. And gosh, there's nobody I said playing to, better. I talked to Carrie Mann about that in the in the post in their uh, locker room after the game. And, and I said, I'm like, what, you know, what was it like during that stretch? He said, well, you know, the thing was, we knew how good we could be sure. because we had just done it. Mm -hmm. So we knew what we were capable of. We just had to get back to it. And, and they did. That's that's what I've heard over and over and over yeah. again from those guys. Yeah. Is it wasn't like it wasn't all that, like all that much changed. It was a confidence level, and it was part of playing on the road for three out of four games against the, the opponents that you were playing against, and for the first time dealing with that kind of adversity, right? Sure, yeah. And they kind of you lose those games in a row. Nobody is guarding Andre Jackson, and it just it got in their heads a little bit, especially Andre. Yeah. It got in his head a little bit, and then once they kind of got out of it. Then you saw Jordan Hawkins take off. And now you're seeing them kind of figure out, hey, you, you know what? When people are climbing all over us, we have that, that outlet. We have that right. release valve in Adama Sonogo, yeah. who, like, by the way, that dude is, is immovable. When he gets he's where just, he wants to get on the block, he's he is so immovable. Strong. You can see it like stupid other strong. dudes. When they try to battle him, they cannot <laughs> move him. Today's episode is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy, the easiest place to play college basketball pick -em where you can get a little extra sweat during March Madness and win real cash prizes simply by picking player stats in this weekend's games. In Pick'em, all you do is predict whether a player will go higher or lower on underdog's projected totals, whether that's points, rebounds, whatever. For example, if you're like me and you think Zach Eady is going to go nuts in this tournament, pick higher on his points projection, add up to four more picks, and if you hit them all, you can win 20 times your money on a single game. Underdog's slick mobile app is easy enough that dummies like Jeff Goodman have even figured it out. So go to underdogfantasy.com or download the app and use the code FIELD, F-I-E-L-D, and Underdog will match your deposit up to 100 bucks. Now is the time to get in on the madness. So remember, underdogfantasy.com, promo code FIELD. I no chance. It's amazing how strong he is. And yeah. then you bring in Klingon behind him, and it's like, all right, this dude, the first dude was stronger, but this dude is so damn big, I yeah. can't score over him. Mm -hmm. and, and that's where, you know, again, Timmy just now, when I was talking to him, he knows. Like, he's like, oh, my, like, these UConn guys are going to be, they're going to be really tough for him. Mm -hmm. and, he's going to have to get him in foul trouble. Here's a big thing, too. I, and, you know, as you go down and you look at the stats and you, and you see the confidence that these guys are playing with, Yeah, I, I mean, UConn had 17 turnovers. Arkansas right, only had 10, right, right. but they're moving the basketball. 22 assists today, and they're playing with the game so much was over pace. After 10 minutes, no, that's true. It but it, but it, but it was because it was of them. Yeah. Like like uh, UConn's pace of play on offense was so damn good. And the thing is, is whenever you're chasing and chasing and chasing, and you rely on one on one defense like Arkansas yeah. does, it's, they're not mm -hmm. a crazy help team. They're not out in the gaps. They're, you're guarding your yard. You're guarding a man in front of you. They beat that first line of defense, and that help comes late. You're right there for offensive boards, and man, it, they were just so much physically stronger today. Yeah. The, the it was insane. They, you Arkansas so is kind of easy to play against yeah. in a way, though, because all you do is sag off them. Mm -hmm. you true, know, like true. Defensively, they're a pr pretty easy matchup right now. Yeah, they are to to guard them. But the the thing is, what everything they do is, is contested. They, though, they yeah, they they God find Almighty. they find mismatches. And they're able to match it up. You mentioned how strong they were. Uh, the strongest guy on the team is Adama Sonogo. Adama Sonogo uh, fasted from 4 a.m. until 6.59 p.m. 
for nearly 15 hours yeah. because it's the first day of Ramadan. He's, he's, he's Muslim. And we were able to catch up with him in the locker room uh, after the game talking about this game and talking about like not eating or drinking water for 15 hours and going and playing a Sweet 16 game.